Hello, my name is Madeline Austin and I am a graduate student at George Mason. I'm an instrumental conducting master's student, but I also play the oboe. And so today I wanted to talk to you about how to do vibrato and create vibrato while playing the oboe. So the first thing that we're gonna need is an oboe and a nice flexible reed, one that is able to move and be in your high registers and your low registers pretty pretty easily. And the other thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need a metronome. So I have one on my phone uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the metronome to about a quarter note equals 40. So really, really slow. And in order to do a vibrato, uh, we have to start slow and then build build this vibrato up so that we have it nice and, and fast and quick and it sounds really pretty. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play and hold a half hold D. So we've got half hold, two, three, one, two, three. Pretty thin, we got it. We got half hold D. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can take that note and take the pitch and just drop it. So we're gonna go like this. And the way that I drop that pitch, I'm not changing my embouchure at all. The way that I drop that pitch is I take my diaphragm and I go, Poof. and I kind of drop my diaphragm. And then to get the pitch back up, I push with my diaphragm again. So I'm going, Poof. And I feel it, feel it right in my abs. So it's almost like the same muscles that we use to do a sit up when in gym class. Those are the ones that we're gonna use to do vibrato on oboe. So I'm gonna try it one more time. And what we wanna do is we wanna take the pitch and we wanna bend it down and then we wanna bring it back up. So we're gonna start with our note, bring the pitch down, and then we're gonna bring it right back up. So let's try that together. What we're gonna do is, Can you try that with me? Let's start on half hold D, let's drop down and let's come right back up. Make sense? Absolutely incredible. So then the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get our metronome out. And we're gonna have it to quarter note equals 40. And we're gonna play that three, four. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do eighth notes with that metronome. So we're gonna go, do with the metronome playing, so I'll demonstrate. What we're gonna do is so when the metronome clicks, I have my half hold D right where it should be, where the pitch is right where it's supposed to be, and then in between, I'm gonna take that pitch, I'm gonna drop it, and then I'm gonna bring it right back up. So every time the beat clicks, we're gonna be right where we should be. Let's try that one more time. Can you try it with me this time? Let's have quarter note equals 40. Ready, go. Awesome job. So we started with eighth notes, right? We're going one and two and three. We're doing like that with eighth notes. So let's try to do triplets, triplets this time. We're gonna go triplet, triplet, Triple it, triple it. About that fast. I'll demonstrate. Ready? So I'm literally creating triplets with my vibrato. My pitch is going wow, 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 wow. So we're getting it a little bit faster. We're getting those sound waves just a little bit faster. Let's try that one together. Ready? Nice job. So we've got our we've got our eighth notes and we've got our triplets. So what can you take a guess about what we're gonna do next? You got it. We're gonna do sixteenth notes. So with my metronome, I'm gonna play one e and a two e and a, and it's kind of like rippling waves, kind of like that. So I'll demonstrate. Ready? the woo and our pitch is literally going up and down and up and down and we're using our diaphragm to do that so my abs down here are going like my abs are, are really working it's almost like i get to be able to skip gym class because my abs are working so much anywho let's try the 16th notes together ready Awesome 
and job. So, what we're going to do is we're going to keep the metronome on a quarter note equals 40. And try this on your own. See if you can get four waves. And when you can get four waves really steady, then try five in between the clicks, then try six in between the clicks, and then try seven in between the clicks. So then it's going to sound something like this. Could you hear it in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And it's okay if it's not perfect every single time. Because the goal isn't for us to be playing oboe and thinking 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4. That's not the goal. The goal is to just make it sound pretty. So when I go and I perform oboe, my vibrato is going to sound something like this. If I play... thinking boo, 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 boo. no 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 I'm just counting and I'm playing normally I'm just incorporating vibrato into my everyday oboe playing so let me know if you have any questions and go oboes go double reads